great. Welcome everybody to this next video on Python scripting in Blender. In this episode, we will look at executing Blender from the console. We have two examples. One example will cover rendering frames from the console. The other one will cover running Python scripts from the console. All right, let's start with the first example. All right, I have a very simple Blender file here that contains a cube and it rotates the cube. So you can see, it's a very simple, straightforward animation. Now we want to render some frames from this animation in the console. All right, so to execute Blender, we type Blender in my case, and then we want to run in the background for which we use minus B. Then we fill in the name of the Blender file that we're interested in. We can specify where the output should go with minus O. And then we can do a double forward slash to tell Blender that we want to output the renders relative to the Blender file. We want the file names to be named render underscore. And Blender will then add a number to the rest of this uh, file name. Then we can indicate the format we want to use to render with minus capital F. And in this case, we will use JPEGs. Then the last thing we need to indicate is which frames Blender should render. This you do with minus F. Then you can either give a single number for a single frame, or you can do a number, two dots, and then another number to indicate a range. So in this case, we're going to render frames one to three. Blender will start up. It will render every frame that we indicated. And here you can see in the explorers that the renders are coming up. You see their names are indeed render underscore and then a number. And as you can see, we have rendered a beautiful cube. And we have rendered the few, first few iterations of the rotation that we had in the animation. All right, great. So this is a very simple way to make some renders in, uh, in Blender. Of course, doing this through the console is very useful uh, you can do it in the background, you can start it up and let it execute, but also if you're using more powerful machines, you often need to access them through the console. All right, now we go to example two. In this example, we will execute a Python script uh, from the console. Here we have a Blender file that simply contains the cube. It's just a cube you generate uh, on startup. We have a simple script that is called mess up cube. And in the script, we import Blender Pi. Then we translate one of the vertices by two units. And then we save the Blender file. You actually need to save the Blender file if you want to run this in the background, because otherwise Blender will start up in the background. It will run the script and then it will exit. But then the Blender file that you executed the script upon is not saved, so you won't see any results of your script. All right, so we want to do this in the background. So we use the argument minus B. Then our Blender file that we want to use is called just a cube. And then to execute the script, you use minus capital P. And the script we want to do is mess up cube. And then you enter and then it will start up, execute the script and exit. And then we can have a quick look at the Blender file to see if anything actually happened. And here you can see we actually messed up one of the vertices of the cube, which is great. And this concludes this video. I hope you learned a little bit about running Blender from the console, and I hope to see you back in the next video. All right, bye.